Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan With Elise, and today I am showing you my reading journal setup for 2024. So I have this kind of off to the side a little bit because I'm using a Happy Plans and Notes from the Happy Planner, which I've used for the last couple of years for my reading journal, but I wanted to do something different in terms of the cover. So we're actually going to start this video by doing the cover together. I picked up you can kind of see. This is a clear, clear, clear cover, not frosted cover. This is from Live Love Posh. Now, I just looked on the website and this cover is sold out in the classic size. It is available in the big size, but they do have frosted covers. So I'll link everything that I can in the description of the video. But I decided that I wanted to do something fun. So what we're going to do is I picked up a pack like a big multi-pack, I'm trying to get them off the desk, of stickers from Amazon. This is going to be annoying kind of with this glare, so I'm going to try to scoot that over and know that for this part of the video the light just may not be as bright. And these are vinyl stickers. I've never done anything like this before, but I know that a lot of people like to put these on their Kindles. Um, I don't like to decorate my Kindle, I just have a sticker with my name on it. So I thought that it might be fun to kind of go through these and sort of do a collage of the stickers that I like the most. Read a damn book. Should we do the bird? We're not doing the bird. That's not happening. So I'm not really particular about where things are going right now. I'm just kind of sorting through them and deciding what I want to use. And emotionally attached to fictional characters. I like that one. So we're going to kind of do like Oh, we also have this emotionally attached fictional characters. I like this one better. Um, we're going to do sort of like first pull out the stickers that I really like, and then we'll go through the ones that uh, we'll do like a second round. So I like read more books. And again, I will link everything I'm using in the description. All this reality is cutting into my reading time. I like that. I have a, like a lot of quote ones, so I want um, I want to make sure that we have a good variation of different things. Sorry, I was reading. Okay, I really like Sorry, I was reading. Now I think we're going to bring this over here. Go away, I'm reading. I'm gonna try to do this rather quickly because I didn't quite intend on like this entire video being setting this up. I like read a damn book. Emotionally attached to fictional characters. Then we need something more decorative up here versus a quote. So let's put that one there. Let's put this one down. And then we need, I like books change the world. Read, read books change the world. Oh, that's what that means. Read books change the world. Okay. We can bring this in. Let's maybe do this. Let's put the book was better over here. Let's bring a plant in up here. Let's see if we can find something that's maybe tall or wide, like that can go there, but I feel like I need something right in here because size-wise, this isn't quite working. Unless I move this down Put this here. It's not really going to affect the plant, but I think that this might be a good mix, right? We have a lot of quotes going on, but I like the quotes, and I don't know that I need any of the other like big stacks of stickers. I mean, this this stack might be nice, but I don't know any of those books. If I'm going to do a stack, I want them to be books I know. I don't think these are real books. They might be. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to um, put these down and then we'll be back. Okay. I feel like this came out so cute and I want to see it on here once I put it down. Oh, I feel like this is really fun. And there's a little bit of room that I could probably continue to play around throughout um, the year, but I feel like this came out really fun. Now the back of it is still clear. 
I might put other things on the back, but I don't really know. I'm not sure, entirely sure I'm like ready to make that decision. I do feel a little bit like we have a big gap right there where like the cat might be fine. I, mean, I don't have a cat. Take me to the bookshop. That actually might be better than this plant one. Now I will say when I was putting these down, there was one point where I was like trying to lift one up and it wasn't that easy, but this time it was. So where was take me to the bookshop? It's like take me to the candy shop. That one we're gonna have a little bit of a space issue. So I just wanna find one more to put down to replace that and kind of be better space wise. Hmm. I feel like it has to be decorative because the others are, there are so many words. So we're gonna go for this one, which is pretty. Okay, I like that. All right, I think we are ready. So I don't know why I'm like out of breath with this, but we're gonna move these over and take a look inside. So as I mentioned, everything that is in here will be linked. The guts of this are Happy Planner, Happy Plans and Notes, which is an Amazon exclusive product. I did see that they are running out. They are starting to um, run out of these after several years or several, like two or three years. So if you're looking to get one, now is the time. Um, the other note that I want to make is that this is not going to be so different from previous reading journals of mine that you've seen. We are going to have a couple of changes and there are going to be um, some additions, but other than that, I know it works for me. So I don't necessarily feel the need to have like a huge different setup each year, but this is how we're going for now. So first of all, we have these pages where typically I will write when I started a book and kind of draw an arrow until when I finished it. And this is an easy way to see like at a glance, everything that I've read through the year. Then we have the first tab. I put a tab here. It doesn't usually have one. And this is where we have the old currently pages where I have the month, and I'll use like a bullet dot sticker to track days that I read. I'll put all the book covers here, my favorite book, a memorable quote, and the pages read. And then inside here is where I'll also write like starting books. I could do a list of any releases, anything that comes up. But I want to be a little bit more intentional next year about like actually decorating these and making better use of them. So I have them all dated and set up. Um, these I just used a happy planner stencil. I used a, here it is, paper mate flare and um, a highlighter, like a zebra mild liner gray marker there for the back. So that's all the 12 months. Then we jump to the next divider and this is where we have trackers. So these are all trackers that are available in my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is all Printables and it makes it really easy to find your favorites, um, print them out, cut them, put them in your planner. If you don't have a punch for Happy Planner, my recommendation is to print these out on sticker paper. I do it all the time when I don't feel like punching. I use this sticker paper, which I'll also link, and all you do is cut off the margin a little bit more and just put it right in your planner. So you don't really need a punch in order to use these in a disc bound planner. So we're going to take these. I have this container of my Zig dot markers. And I got this on Timu. Like they sent it to me as a collaboration. So I don't I don't know that I have a link for it. But um, we're going to kind of note how this is going to work. So I did this this past year and it was really a fun way to track everything. So Yellow will be no reading. Um, let's take light pink and this will be zero to 30 minutes. I know a lot of people track this by pages read and not minutes read. Um, the reason that I track it 
minutes read is because I'm a really fast reader. So for me, it's more about dedicating the time each day to reading versus how many pages I got through. So it's being intentional about the time that I sit down and open my Kindle or open a book. Um, so the, here we're gonna do 30 minutes, min, minutes, spell it right, to one hour. And then we can do purple for, what did I do last year? Like, I feel like I'm missing one. We're gonna pull this up because I'm curious. Oh no, I did the same thing. <laughs> We're gonna do um, more than one hour. And you can kind of see how this worked for me last year. So it's it's a great at a glance type of view of these of things. And then I don't know what I'll use notes for, but I have it in there anyway. Okay. Next up is a new tracker to my shop. I'm really excited about it. This is monthly book club picks. There are so many book clubs that we all love. And my idea here is to take the cover of the book and print it out and put it here each month and then you can rate it. So I'm really excited about this. Um, and I hope that you like it and it's something that you'll pick up. But I think that it's great. The only thing that I maybe need to do before I list this is make space for like the, to write down the book club name, that may be something um, that needs to happen on this tracker. But if that happens, it'll happen by the time this video goes live. So this is my monthly book club pick page. Then we have reading 100 books, which is also something that I had. Something fell. <laughs> if you didn't hear it. Also something that I had this year. I'm going to pull it out to show you. Um, of course, my reading journal this year has become a little bit of a jumbled mess, but I'm trying to grab this page so that I can show it to you. Okay, I have a couple to print out. I forgot to print that out and I haven't put that one down, but this is what it looks like when all the books are on here. I also have this available in 25 and 50 book sections in case 100 is too many, which 100 is a ridiculous amount of books. So my 100 books. And then I also want to preface this by saying that I like tracking things different ways. So I have three trackers here for tracking 100 books because I like seeing things differently visually. So we have the covers. This is zero to 100. I do have this in my shop and these are all numbered. The reason that I printed out a non-numbered version is because I have an inkjet printer and when I color on top of it, the ink smears. So I printed out a blank version and I'll take these stickers from Proud Sticker Designs. After I color one in, I'll put these clear stickers over it to number from zero to 100. Then we have my Reading 100 Books bookshelf tracker. This is also available in 50 books. I don't remember if I have it available in 25. I don't remember. I have a lot of printables. <laughs> then we have an A to Z reading challenge, which I have yet to complete, but maybe this year. And then we have a book bingo. So this is where I'll write down all different ideas of book bingo items that I'd like to check off, um, whether it be, you know, a certain, um, trying to think like what I had on there this year. I had a Jewish author, an Amazon first reads, an author from New Jersey, things because I live in New Jersey, things like that. And then I'll probably put a notes page in between this and the next one, just to kind of track what was highlighted, like what book represented each category. This is also a newer item to my shop. This is an audiobook tracker. So if you are an audiobook fan, um, you can use this to track your audiobooks. And then we have my monthly review. This is where I write down how many books and how many pages that I read each month. So that's what's in my, that's what I included from my Etsy shop in this year's reading journal. Next up, I actually have a couple of pages from the Kell of a Plan reading journal. So we have favorite book this year, favorite author this year, favorite genre this year. Then this year's goal, actual number read, how many books I read this year, but it's categorized. So we can do these dots. I'm only going to do dots on the ones that I will read because I'm not going to read a horror book. I'm not going to read a fantasy book. 
Um, so some of these won't be used. Romance, nonfiction, definitely. We're going to do a blue thriller. Whoops. Um, what's next? This will be kind of like blue. Let's take a different green. We have biography and memoir. I'm not likely to read a biography. I am likely to read a memoir, but that came out pretty dark. And then mystery we can do also. Let's do light blue for mystery. So the categories I don't see myself reading are horror, fantasy, and biography. I'd rather read a memoir if I have the opportunity to than a biography, but I also understand not everyone is alive <laughs> to write their memoir. Okay, so again, these are from the Kell of a Plan um, reading journal. Then we have the reading challenge. Trip takes place in another country, has two authors. So this is kind of like the book bingo, but a different way, and they're already prompted in here. And then we have a reading bucket list, which I think is also a lot of fun. So those are the pages from the Calvin Plan. I also included these pages because I can list them out for anything. And then I started, this is just the back of it, but reading wish list. I started making a page here of psychological thrillers because I joined a Facebook group about psychological thrillers lovers. Maybe, I don't remember, but um, people are recommending books there all the time. So I wanted to start to list out different books that I see that sound interesting that I want to read. And then I'll just add in any more. Now I have two pages here. These are from Planner Kate. And these were recommended books in one of my Instagram stories. I had asked for recommendations and these were the recommendations that were given to me. I think it was actually when I was asking for a recommendation for what my hundredth book of the year should have been, um, even though I ended up already reading it. But these are where I'll give, probably do like more follower recommendations in these pages. All right, then I made this page. You may have seen this on Instagram already, but I made a page called How I Rate Books because sometimes I struggle with what rating to give a book. Having a page like this is a great reference. I used the Kell of a Plan Reading Basics sticker book for this and Alpha Basics, and I used Happy Planner stencils to make these. So if I give it one star, I did not finish. Two stars, finish, but wouldn't recommend. Three stars, this book was decent. <clears throat> four stars. I love this book and would definitely recommend it. Five stars. I'll never stop raving about this book. It is a must read. So this is a good reference for me. And then I have these pages, which are also all from my Etsy shop. These are my book review pages. So again, to reference this year and show you what these look like, I have them all numbered using these same stickers. I put the title when I started, when I finished, I rate it, the genre, the pages read, number of pages, the book cover, and then a memorable quote if there is one. There isn't always a memorable quote, but sometimes there is. So I printed these double-sided and I have a ton of them printed. I haven't numbered them yet, but oops, well this popped out, but I have a ton of them uh, ready to go for when January begins. And then we just have some filler paper here that came in the notebook itself. And that's it. We're pretty similar this year to last year, but also pretty simple. A couple of new things. I'm really excited about the book, um, the book club printable. I think that this is going to be really fun to use. And I'm really excited about the cover because I wanted to do something different this year. So I think that's a wrap. I, again, everything that I used and any discount codes will be linked in the description. I hope you enjoyed and found some inspiration. Happy reading. Thanks for spending time with me and I will see you soon.